so I'm having a problem with this door here. It looks like this door is completely stuck. Something inside of it snapped off, so there's no way of opening it from the inside and the outside. I've had problems with it before when the when somebody from the inside unlocked it and locked it while pressing the button, so that might have just kind of ran this side. It doesn't work. Even if I flip the switch off and on, so it looks like the cable is broke. So now we're just going to figure out how to open this thing. like this part was just easily popped out. So there's the mechanism. So now we just gotta find out what was the thing that broke off. What? This wire here, this one right here, there's another wire. This one controls the, the wire from the inside. But for some reason, it doesn't pull right. Oh. But none of them actually work. So there's other wires there above. There's two wires above there that I saw that there was this mechanism here that didn't quite move. This one right here. Oh wait, no. It's, it's actually it's actually this one in between. So here, you see that? So this, there's this metal, and then there's this secondary metal, and as I pulled this, the door uh, finally opened. Whew. The area that was supposed to work, so this thing right here, is the one thing that actually pulled the door open. But after examining all this other stuff here, there was no lever, there was no lever that actually pulled this out, so it didn't, this is the one, this is the one that needs to move. And whatever I move on this one, see, look, it doesn't move with this. So it doesn't move here, so now we gotta find out what is wrong where it's not moving that. So I think there might have been some sort of other piece that's missing, but we're gonna find out. Okay, so here is the good side. And just as I suspected, and just as I thought that, watch, so if I pull this one, the top top ones move the top and the reason why it moves is because there is that white bushing right there this little plastic bushing and that is the piece that's missing and so that's what we found out that there was like a broken piece so now we got to find a way to try to substitute that little piece I wonder why they made it So, I found a little solution to try to get those two to move over. And if you can see there, I put a twist tie on it. So, if you see one of the vinyl twist ties there, so that both, both mechanisms can actually now pull each other. And so the top one now works. Now, the only problem that I was faced was even though that you put the locking mechanism on, you can still be able to pull from the outside. So even though the door is locked, like it still can open from the other side. So I decided that since the mechanism was a complicated like 
there was like this supposed to be like this little vinyl circular thing that's supposed to if you see like that thing that's going up and down it all connects to that the two other mechanisms there but I couldn't get it to to do that with the vinyl uh, zip tie so I decided that hey if I could open the door from the inside then that's no problem and if the outside door is you know locked I mean if the outside can be disabled then I could just simply just you know go from the passenger side and just kind of Okay, so what I did was I figured out that there was this thing here, the purple one. This purple one is what pulls the mechanism from the outside. And so what I decided to do was there's this little holder here. It's like a resistance holder. And all I did was pop this out. So now there's really no, there's no give. And so what happens is it doesn't move anything. So basically it's... Technically, it's locked from the outside, and there's no way of opening it from the outside, except from the inside. So, now that this door is working, I'll close it. And so now, it can't be opened from the outside. It's unlocked now, so... So it can't be unlocked. So if I need to get into the door anyway, I'll just open this and then come back this way. Pull this and the door is accessible now. From the inside and the outside. I've read about the internet that like something like this would cost anywhere up to like $2,000 to fix. And what they would have to do is like since, since they don't sell these independent parts like these like little vinyl uh, pieces or whatnot like you would have to buy this entire mechanism like replace the entire mechanism and put in a new one so and it's just that one little piece that broke off and you know you have to replace this whole thing so just to save some money I just figured out you know what was wrong with it and then found a little substitute and now the wires are pulling so Good deal. Super ghetto, but hey man, it works. Peace.